to get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free source transformation question find the value of current i by using source transformation technique solution as we can see this 1 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in series so it will be a single resistor of 3 ohm so let's make it a single resistor of 3 ohm now here we can see we can convert this voltage source into its equivalent current source also we can convert this voltage source into its equivalent current source now let's convert this two voltage sources into its equivalent current source so when we convert a voltage source that time this resistor will be in parallel it will be like this the resistance value will remain same that is 3 ohm and we can erase this resistor now and now this voltage source will be turned into a current source and its direction will be according to its polarity so it will be upward because positive here and negative here now current i is equal to v by r the value of voltage is 5 and the value of resistance is 3 so it will be 5 divided by 3 so 5 divided by 3 is 1.6 ampere so it will be of 1.6 ampere now we can erase this voltage source similarly here when we are converting this voltage source to current source that time this 2 ohm resistor will be in parallel so it will be of 2 ohm now we can convert this voltage source into its equivalent current source and the direction of this current source will be according to the direction of this voltage source according to the polarity of this voltage source that is upward because positive here and negative here so it will be i is equal to v by r v value is 4 and the resistance value is 2 so it will be of 2 ampere we can erase this voltage source now as we can see this current source and this current source are connected in parallel now the direction of this current source is upward and also the direction of this current source is upward so both the current source directions are same so we will add them and make it a single current source so let's copy this circuit again we can erase this current source and we will add it here so it will be 1.6 plus 2 so 1.6 plus 2 it will be 3.6 3.6 ampere 3.6 ampere and we can erase this current source now also here we can see this 3 ohm and this 2 ohm are connected in parallel we will skip this 3 ohm register because we have to find this current i so this will be 3 ohm parallel with 2 ohm so it will be 3 into 2 divided by 3 plus 2 3 into 2 divided by 3 plus 2 so it is 1.2 ohm 1.2 ohm now let's make it a single register again copy this circuit from here now we will erase this let's erase this register here and this resistance value will be now 1.2 ohm 1.2 ohm 
now we have to find this current i so by using by using current division rule by using current division rule so by using current division rule this i is equal to this current that is 3.6 multiplied by opposite branch resistance the opposite or parallel branch to this 3 ohm is 1.2 ohm so 1.2 divided by 1.2 plus 3 if we solve this so we get i is equal to 3.6 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 1.2 plus 3 so it is 1.028 1.028 ampere is the value of current i so this is how we can find the value of current i by using source transformation technique check the link in the comment section and install the app for free thanks for watching